So first we do the login. We also have the Google button through which Google can be uh, using the Google we can authenticate. Now we come to choose office. So first we select uh, office in the office drop down. Then we choose job number. So you can select job number. If you choose back the office number three, then these job numbers will accordingly change for that office. Application is very responsive. If the article uh, barcode is damaged, user can manually enter the barcode. For example, number one, press enter. The data is pulled up from the backend. If uh, barcode is working, then we can click the barcode button and then we can open the barcode. So we printed some demo barcodes over here. So now we will go and scan uh, the barcode. So I'll just go back and scan the barcode. Just keep my mobile window aside a bit. Scan the barcode. Yes. And you see barcode got scanned and the, it has fetched the data alternator. Now one more thing I want to show here if we go back uh, to the article ID remove 3 so 3 is the actual article ID presenting office but when we get the different barcodes in return basically uh, in our SAP system I will go and show that we have maintained mapping in a mapping table so in our <clears throat> mapping table basically we will maintain between SAP article and the customer article so I have done one entry demo entry over here so let me just uh, show you that demo entry so I am just uh, going to the mapping table and in the mapping table we maintain an entry over here so we can see this custom mat is mapped to SAP article number 3 so what I will do is I will go back and in the article ID I type custom mat C U S T M A T in capital letter. C U S T M A T. Enter. Press enter key. You can see it has fetched the data like alternator. So maybe it didn't show. Just select two. Enter. Two. Article two is battery. Now we will put again custom mat. So the custom mat have corresponding material three in the mapping table. And you see it has fetched the data now we will enter booked quantity one you can see current pending quantity is five the total quantity available is five for this one material i am counting now one and i say book so it will send to sap now an entry it's done and you see now the count has reduced to four so one material was counted and now the pending quantity is four this entry gets finally saved in our database table so we go back to the database table uh, where we are storing the quantities so let me just show you the entry we just created in the database table where we are counting all the quantities so including the versioning information is there so what's the material what's the date and time it was punched what's the quantity it was punched you can see these are the punched quantities in the uh, table so we have complete versioning data of all the quantities which are counted Similarly, we can increase, decrease the quantity also. So that is the end-to-end -end demo for article count application with barcode functionality. It's an online application which can run on any Android or iOS devices. Thank you so much for demo. Goodbye.